All right, guys, new change of plan. Uh, I need to make some angle brackets to put steps on my dock at the lake. And I'm going to build angles like this that I can bolt to my boat lift and uh, put a 2x10 or a 2x12 on it to walk along the side of the boat lift where the jet ski is. So I already bought the material and uh, we're going to have to clamp it down to something to weld it. And I got to cut it. I need to cut four 12 inch pieces uh, with a 50 45 degree angle underneath the corner on each end, kind of like the end of that up there. But I'll, I, I could round it, I guess, with the grinder, make it quicker. Uh, so I'm going to cut them all first, and uh, then uh, we'll start welding them. So I've gotten the first. Uh, 45 degree angle cut off the end of this and so now I need to measure and scribe 12 inches at 45 degree angle this way Now the length of these isn't super important because they're just sticking out like a, a shelf. And I just scratch them up good. And we're going to do the same vertically here. So I can keep a straight cut going. And I'm not going to put you here because you're going to get scratched or sparks thrown in your face. I got my metal cut down here pretty good. So she don't jump around. I gotta cut three more of those. Luckily, the vertical on this one is already cut, so I just need to cut the angle now, right? You can see what I'm doing here, because this is a four foot piece, and I'm cutting it into one foot long pieces. Marula, Abdullah. It's right here. I'll touch these angles up when I get the grinder put on here. Put the grind wheel back on. I only have one grinder, so I don't want to keep switching back and forth. So I'm going to cut the 45 here. And then we can uh, touch them up. So I'm probably going to have to move this as I did before. Duh get my 45 in here. All right. And we repeat. Now what I'm doing here is these are the two long, you can see the longer pieces of angle iron on the trailer there. Those are the ones that are going to bolt up the side of uh, the boat lift where there's uh, brackets that they can actually attached too easily. And uh, I got to cut through, I cut three inches off these because these are 48. I cut them back to 45 because I needed to make welding tabs. And so I cut three inches off them. So I have my welding tabs to put on the bottom here so they can bolt to the inside of the angle iron. That's what they need to be referenced to. So, 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 as I always say, so, so, so. We come back to 45 here. And this ain't rocket science either. This one is the square cut. And I'm 
I'm just scratching so I can see them. And it has to be opposite of that one, so I got my angles right, which that looks correct. And this one I've already made the tabs, so I don't need to cut anything. I'm just going to knock that little chunk off. My wheel's just about shot. You think I can make it? do is I need to put the stone on these uh, on this grinder and I need to uh, dress all these edges up and I'm going to lay out what I'm going to do when I weld is I'm going to clamp them to this square plywood because I know the plywood is square to make the angles and I'll tack them that place and then I'll finish weld them uh, on the concrete or at a table or something. My welding table is piled with stuff right now so I just don't have time to clean it up because I've got such a hurry to do. I'm trying to decide where I want to wake uh, wire weld this or, or use my buzz box. My big old Lincoln I know I can weld hard with. So uh, I might drag him over here. All right. So I'm just going to fix that grinder up and, and we'll clean those corners all up. I've got to make sure that this uh, angle that I left in here is square. I need to cut it at a 45 so I just got to look down and, and taper them in. I've got my angles lined up with the... Uh, i got welding gloves on so it's hard to work the machine here. It's hard to see light. Anyway, I got them weighted down with heavy steel right on the corner of that square plywood to make sure that they are square. And line them up good. Ground clamp on. Get the grinder all the way. Tacking this so I can stick weld. I don't trust this. All right, see how that goes. See if it actually stuck it together. Turn it around this way. Set that heavy guy on there. Put my ground clamp. All right. Where's my steel plate? Oh, I gotta. I'm gonna dress this place up a little bit here. I suck at welding. I guarantee you. small clamp. I suck.
Yeah, I'm gonna stick weld this. Sucks. I know I can stick weld it. All right, got a little over a half an hour left here on my battery. I'm just going to weld up this uh, angle and show you how I'm doing it with my stick welder. I'm much better with my stick welder. Let me get my gloves on though. Uh, it's very hard when uh, you got sweat rolling in your eyes and you can't see for shit to begin with. So what I'm going to do is double up reading glasses. Hopefully that will help me see at the foot or so I need, yes. All right, hopefully it will help me. Right. Turn on the old buzz box. Old Lincoln 225 tombstone, they call it. Make sure you wear your welding gloves. I should be wearing long sleeves, actually. Got my wood on fire. Now that's a nice bead. That's how I want my welds to look. Alright. Let's hot one. That's when you know what you're doing welding, how it turns out. All right, so this guy, I'm gonna clamp him down, ground clamp just like that. Remember the stick is always hot. that's ever going to come apart? You never! Let's weld this side. This is 6013 I'm using. No, it's not the hardest uh, rod, but for what I'm doing, it's not. Push it right into the weld. That's how it was. 
better to weld um, horizontally with stick, at least for me, with this metal. I'm just going to give this a quick, quick sway too. Now that's a weld. Alright guys, I gotta finish this up in a hurry because I've got some other parts I gotta make. But these haven't even been defluxed. But that's stronger than the metal itself. I will grind off the lumps that might get in my way. Step bracket for my bolt lift. Alright. Let's, let's get these guys down. Let's break them down so they don't skid around. Get yourself in a good position. I'm not in a perfect position, but I'm good enough. stick well. See how quiet the weld arc is? I'm going to burn this old MIG weld right away. in the puddle a little bit. making my welds a little lighter. I put a lot of uh, weld into some of them, the first one. These all flat welds, I'm just going to uh, put a light pass. Let's see, I'm at 105 amp setting on the on the Lincoln. Oh, I got a weld. Ouch, it's hot. Um, yeah, that's good. 
Again, just a small pass to close that gap. Make it look pretty. I got some slag running off and uh, some metal, but that will be brown. All right. Now I go up to the old the bracket, the bolt bracket for the top. And the reason my welds, by the way, my TIG welds were, or my MIG welds were so bad is like, oops, I forgot the, uh, Turn the gas on. Right. These are just going to locate the bottom of the glasses. That's what's wrong. That's why I can't see. Double my reading glasses. I gotta come around in front of you. So the so next step job. and the only last part that I need to do is I need to create these plates that I can bolt to the bottom corner of the frame and I have an axle made from a bolt like this. sure that it's square so that's going to be a difficult one I can hold it with my square like so while I tack it yeah that's what I'll do tack it one way measure it the other way tack it and uh, that's what we're gonna do I already just drilled the holes I just used a 3 8 drill this is quarter inch plate steel these are 5 8 bolts I'm gonna to have to cut them off to the right lengths uh, when I get my wheel to put on there so they don't stick way out that way I can lift up one end of the boat hoist and roll it almost like a wheelbarrow with two guys. And when we come to bring it out in the fall, we just need to hook a rope on it because the wheels will be on the corners that are facing the shore and literally just drag it out. So let's see if we can get this welded on now. I, uh, I really think I want to use my... Just give it a little zap, zap, zap around it. All right. I got a short rod. Yes, I do. That's good. The shorter the rod, the easier it is to uh, handle. All right. Get the welding gloves. Oh, there's a spider in my helmet. Can't go and buy a thread. Hello, little buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna hold him just like that. Where's my rod? My sticker here. My stinger. Let's get the stinger here. Luckily, this hood is a self-darkening, so I can see.
Let it cool. Check it this way. It's fine. I decided to put the bolt through the plate. That's why I drilled a hole through it, obviously. I'm standing on my dang lead, of course. Yeah, that's all I got going this side. We'll let this cool. And then we'll weld the next side.